friends uh, this is the uh, chapter number 1 in our mathematical methods of physics title of this is curvilinear coordinates now we all know as a physics student we are using different types of coordinate systems right from 8th standard 10th standard or in the college days and all that so what these coordinate frames means coordinate systems means and why they have to be of different types at the same time there must be some theory for this type of coordinate systems it means that if we understand or if we develop such type of theory and if we try to understand this theory if we understood this entire theory of coordinate system then you can design your own coordinate system by your own name and if it if it is useful for all other people then it may be accepted but naturally it is not that easy to develop such type of coordinate system but what our types of coordinate systems we are using till today and what are existing in mathematics as an, as well as in physics that overview we are going to discuss in today's discussion so this title or chapter title of the chapter is curvilinear coordinates but in our uh, this in this module or in this particular chapter we are going to introduce for first the the known coordinate systems to you what these coordinate systems are Wh what is the coordinate axis how it is defined what do you mean by coordinate surface how it is defined what is meaning of that what is use of that all these things we are going to discuss one by one then there are transformation equations to move from one system to second system or second system to third system there are several type different types of coordinate uh, this transformation equations are possible or available we have to derive some of them as well as we have to use some of them to transform or to go from one system to another system that is an important part then uh, once we understand all these th these th three different types of coordinate systems especially i'm just writing their names first system is what we are going to discuss in detail these figures are given there first system is cartesian <coughs> cartesian coordinate system i have brought these figures here you look the figures i'll this will discuss one by one second important coordinate system we have used very frequently in lot many problems and that is the spherical polar coordinate system okay second is spherical polar coordinate system and third is number 3 is you might be knowing all this the third system is that is called as the cylindrical cylindrical coordinate system and remember these three systems are nowadays till day they are sufficient to describe most of the problems in mathematics uh, once we learn all these three systems and their uh, interpretations their transformation equations and so on then we are going to generalize the curvilinear coordinate system actually curvilinear coordinate system is the basic coordinate system of which all these coordinate systems are subset so set 1 is cartesian set 2 is spherical set 3 is cylindrical and how that comes that is what we are going to discuss here so initially we are going to describe what do we mean by coordinate system then there are certain uh, different types of parameters that is called as coordinate axis coordinate planes coordinate spaces then there are there is some uh, thing is called as scale factors mm, remember this definition scale factor then there is metric coefficient based upon the scale factor and metric coefficient we can derive the length element how to define a length in any of the coordinate system how to define the surface element in any of the coordinate system the, then the volume element so length element surface element volume element how to write diff vector differential operator in a particular coordinate system once this vector differential operator is known in that system it can be used to find out a gradient of a scalar field in that type of coordinate system then we can go for second operation that is divergence we can go for curl as well as we can go for laplacian so try to understand once we go into this type of curvilinear coordinate system we are going to introduce scale factors we are going to introduce matrix we are going to introduce 
द लेंथ एलिमेंट सरफेस एलिमेंट वॉल्यूम एलिमेंट ग्रेडियंट डाइवर्जेंस कर्व एंड लप्लशियन सो वंस वी अंडरस्टैंड दिस मेथोडोलॉजी फॉर ए करविलियर कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम इट इज वेरी इजी टू गो फ्रॉम करविलियर कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम टू एनी ऑफ द सिस्टम दैट इज वॉट वी आर मैंशन एज अ कार्टिशियन कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम स्पेरिकल पोलर कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम एंड सिलेंड्रिकल कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम सो बिफोर गोइंग टू दिस uh this this curvilinear uh, coordinate system we are going to introduce to this this three these three types of systems in detail okay so today's our discussion will be basically uh, uh, reflecting these three different types of coordinate system so before that i would like to just uh, remind you what do you mean by coordinate system uh, I, it is called as either coordinate system or you can call it to be a, a reference system so coordinate or reference system a reference system <coughs> reference system i'll just write in one one line only reference system used to specify used to specify the position used to specify the position of a point of a point in space in space is called the reference system or coordinate system coordinate system so in general uh, for any of the coordinate system we require what that is called as first we require at least axis some axis are needed then coordinates are needed and then with the help of these coordinates and axis we can define such type of coordinate system so now look at this Uh, this is now well familiar we are quite familiar about this type of coordinate system and this is what called as the uh, what we call it to be a cartesian coordinate system i think we should not go into details of all that much more because lot many things about this we have already known about this now what is this there are three axes this is x axis this is y axis this is z axis and i have shown there are three planes actually this diagram is has been brought from the net directly so i am having this one plane so one plane is parallel to x axis on this plane uh, every point so this particular plane will have x equation so y coordinate on this plane is simply equal to 0 x and z may vary but y coordinate here either i am taking either uh, this this plane here either i am taking this point or this point or this point on this particular plane or this point anywhere here you will get y is equal to 0 is one coordinate surface so coordinate surface y is equal to 0 sorry coordinate surface so this coordinate surface is here where we have a plane which is parallel to x axis as well as minus x axis and the coordinate y will be have equal to 0 this is one coordinate surface then there is one this this particular plane shown below this plane is shown to have this is uh, here uh, the z coordinate on this plane okay this plane is shown to be zero so another coordinate plane is said to be z is equal to zero that is the equation of this plane similarly if i go for this plane okay that shown here i could have given names to this and this plane is shown to have everywhere the coordinate on this particular plane will have value to be zero so x equal to zero y is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0 these are called as coordinate surfaces now imagine these coordinate surfaces are coming together they are crossing each other in the mutually perpendicular direction so exactly in the right angle they are crossing and remember here the plane now this this is the plane i am writing here uh, on this uh, this particular plane now this plane has equation x is equal to 0 okay then this plane has equation y is equal to 0 and as well as this plane has equation z is equal to 0 so our cartesian coordinate system is made by intersection of these three coordinate surfaces okay so intersection of these three coordinate surfaces coordinate surfaces okay so this cartesian coordinate system is given by intersection of these three coordinate surfaces as shown here so that is has been shown in the diagram 
or I have drawn on this particular diagram. So you can imagine this particular Cartesian coordinate system is made up of three different axes. And now how this axis? So when this plane x is equal to uh, zero and y is equal to zero, that crosses I'll get z axis. When this plane, uh, this plane, <coughs> that is z is equal to zero and x is equal to zero, that is crossing that gives me y axis. Whereas when this plane the this this plane y is equal to zero and z is equal to zero that crosses that gives me x axis so getting x axis now intersection of two planes mutually perpendicular direction that gives you three axis so x axis is obtained by intersection of y is equal to zero and z is equal to zero y axis is obtained by intersection of x is equal to zero and z is equal to zero and z axis is obtained by a intersection of planes x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. In that way, we call this type of system existing is Cartesian coordinate system. And now here, this point, any of the point which is given these coordinates as called as x, y and z, we can get its intercept from this to this. From that, I can find out this is the value of x, this is the value of y and this is the value of z. So this uh, violet color lines shown here, that shows you the values of x, y and z can be obtained. And that is how any point in this particular coordinate system can be specified by these three coordinates values of x y and 0 now we can have any values of x y 0 all can be positive all can be negative some of them can be positive some of them can be negative and based upon that you may be in the quadrant 1 quadrant 2 quadrant 3 and whatever and this type of space is nothing but three-dimensional space what we call in the in the um, that is also called as Euclidean space or that is called as Cartesian space and all. So this is the first system what we are introduced that is called as the uh, Cartesian coordinate system wherein we have introduced this particular surfaces. So surfaces x equal to 0, y is equal to 0, z is equal to 0. These are called as the coordinate surfaces and intersection of these surfaces these are called as the coordinate axis. So this very important information we are we have received from this diagram is that we have coordinate surfaces okay surfaces and here we have just now mentioned these surfaces are nothing but these three surfaces one surface is x is equal to 0 second is y is equal to 0 and third is z is equal to 0 so these are all planes these are all plane surfaces and they are intersecting each other intersecting each other and we are getting each other and we are getting coordinate axis okay so what we are getting is a coordinate axis uh, that is <coughs> just a minute